So Nelson Curtis um, drank 10 pints of beer during the afternoon and um, into the evening he got into his high powered Jaguar, made a completely unnecessary journey during which he drove at at least 124 miles an hour, striking Lauren's car at just over 100 miles an hour, where he catapulted her off the road, causing catastrophic and instant fatal injuries. Um, Curtis then carried on driving, he, he knew what had happened. He drove at least two miles, driving a Jaguar that had only got three wheels, um, before abandoning his car, calling a friend to take him home, where he sat, hoping to sober up. Upon arrival of police, he didn't help us at all. He denied any involvement. Um, he said he thought his car might have originally been stolen, um, and it was only after tenacious investigations when we uncovered the detail of what had happened that he finally admitted to what he'd done. Um, we had to work hard for this. That's no problem, that is our job. My point is, he did not help us at all. He was not remorseful from the outset. We were assisted by Jaguar Land Rover with technical data yeah. downloads from the car, which has supported us getting this case to court um, and the successful conviction of causing death of Lauren by dangerous driving. As we heard in court, the ripple effect of Lauren's tragic death on the family, the business that her dad runs, her children's performance at school and their behaviour at school is really far reaching and will be extended for many years to come through the actions, the despicable actions of one man on one day. The judge has had to adhere to his guidelines of sentencing and seven years is within those guidelines. However, um, clearly nothing will bring Lauren back and I think the family will be lobbying the government to increase the level of sentencing.